Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of setting up remote access in Tally Prime. Remote access in Tally Prime eats connectivity that enables you to work from home remotely and while traveling. Moreover, you can easily enable auditors to access your company data for auditing. Setting up remote access is a simple process. However, there are some prerequisites to it. First and foremost, you need a consistent internet connection with at least 3 megabits per second speed for a decent experience with remote access in Tally Prime. It ensures that you access Tally Prime company smoothly without any interruptions or lag that might occur due to inconsistent internet or lesser internet speed. Moreover, you will need a valid TSS subscription and the latest Tally Prime release is recommended. And it is necessary that the computers on which the remote access feature is being used have same release or version of Tally Prime. In addition to that, your company data must have security enabled with security credentials. It is also important to note that remote access does not support activities such as data split, import or export, and repair. Now, let us see how to set up remote access in Tally Prime. Press F11 and ensure that Show More Features is set to Yes. Enable Tally.net services for remote access and synchronization and press Ctrl plus A to save. Now, press Alt plus K. Online access and press Enter. Now, select Connect Company on Loading and press Enter to enable. Now, select Contact Details and press Enter. You can change the company display name. For example, let's name it Remote Access so that users accessing the company remotely can easily identify the company. Press Ctrl plus A to save. Now, you need to create a new user. Log in to the Tally Solutions website. Enter your TallyNet ID and password and click Login. Click Control Center. User Management. Manage Users. Now create users. Select Security Level and enter the TallyNet ID. Click on the Enable TallyNet Services checkbox. Select Branch as applicable. Now, click Create. As you can see, the user is being created successfully. The user receives an email to confirm the creation of TallyNet ID, along with the password. Now, let's add the remote user. Press Alt plus K. Users and passwords and press Enter. If your license is a single user silver license, then you can add one additional tally net user and if you have a multi-user gold license, then 10 users can be connected at a time. And in case of tally prime server, 60 users can be connected at a time. After adding the users, accept the screen. Under user roles, select tally net user. Select from the list of users in account. Allow remote access must be set to yes. Also, add yourself as TallyNet user and allow remote access. Press Ctrl plus A to save. You can also configure user roles for this TallyNet user based on the nature of job and role in the organization. To know how to do it, you can watch our video, How to Restrict or Disallow Users from Performing Certain Activities in Tally Prime Data. Now, press Alt plus K and connect. You can see that the company is connected for online access. Let's see how remote access works since the company is connected. Let's connect as the remote user with the ID that we just created and password available in the email. Open Tally Prime and select Remote Company. You need to change the password. 
press Alt plus R to reset the password. Enter the tally.net ID and you will receive a link in your email where you can enter the new password. Thereafter, you can select remote company with the tally.net ID and the new password. The list of remote company screen appears and you can see the company under online. The company name is the company display name provided under the contact details. The company is now loaded. It is important to know that you can access the company even if you do not have a Tally Prime license. You can now start using it to create ledgers, record transactions, and view reports as needed. Let's create a ledger. Press Alt plus G. Create master, ledger and press enter, enter name and other details and press Ctrl plus A to save. Now open the instance on the other end from which you had connected the company. Press Alt plus G. Alter master, ledger. You can see that the ledger you created as a remote user is available here. Similarly, let's create a voucher. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and press Enter or simply press V on Gateway of Tally. Press F8 for sales. Select the party account name. Enter dispatch details and party details. Select the stock item and enter the amount. Enter bill wise details and narration if needed. Press Ctrl plus A to save the invoice. Now open the instance on the other end from which you had connected the company. Open day book. Press Alt plus G. Type or select day book and press enter. You can see that the voucher you created as a remote user has got updated in the company. Similarly, whenever you make any updates in the data as a remote user, it gets updated in the company. This ensures that you can not only work from home or remotely, but also ensure that your company data gets updated with the necessary masters and vouchers no matter where you are. All you need to do is set up remote access in the company with username and password, connect the company and load it whenever you want to use it as a remote user. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.